Let's talk about configs. Why? Well, they kind of suck. I'm sure we've all seen a code base that looks like this with just 20 plus config files clogging up the root directory, all of which are necessary, or maybe not. Or maybe that's from a package you haven't used in a while and you don't know you need anymore. It's a mess, especially once you get things like Docker and Sentry involved that have five plus files each and they all expect them to be in the root. It's not fun. There's a lot of reasons why we got here. I don't think any of them are justifiable, and God, I am horrified of the result. Let's talk a bit about the config problem, both in JavaScript and in software dev as a whole. The Dino team wrote an awesome article describing the config hell problem. In here, they have a classic example we've all seen where you have your Docker ignore, your editor config, your environment local example, a bunch of VSLint stuff, git ignore, the list goes on. There's all of these things before you even get to the source directory that you're actually there for. And this is not some made up funny looking example. This is reality. There's a lot of code bases that have to look like this in order to have all of these packages working properly together. And the result is utter chaos. I like how this article frames the problem, specifically that we have a defaults problem in JavaScript. Most of our tools are not opinionated. And because of that, we have to do a lot of configuration, Docker, Sentry, et cetera. They use the example of Gmail's settings and how if you opened up Gmail for the first time when you ended up on this page, you would immediately stop using Gmail. I think that's a really fair argument. The fact that to use these tools for the first time, you have to do a config for so many of them, it kind of makes the onboarding experience rough. And I wish more tools would have good enough defaults to not have to change all of these things. The amount of effort I personally put in to get my TSES lint config just right is obnoxious. And I am so thankful for people like Josh Goldberg who have made it easier than ever to understand how to get that right. But the fact that I've had to do multiple videos and a lot of research in order to get that right, that's pretty painful. We need to do better with our defaults in the JavaScript ecosystem. That's the first layer of defense for preventing this problem. Thankfully, there are some things with good defaults, like Prettier. I think Prettier is in a really good state overall, but this isn't enough. We need somewhere to put all of these configs. They don't mention this option in the article, but what I would really like to see is a dot config. The concept is you have a folder where you put all of these things that's effectively treated as root, but it lets you dump them all in one place. Maybe within there, you can even have subfolders for different things. Like you can have a Docker folder with all of Docker's properties. You could have a node folder with all of nodes things, a sentry folder, etc. And then you have more hierarchy and organization in your repo. And more importantly, for a new developer checking out that code base, they don't have to go through all this weird config magic and try to read through all those files just to dive into the source. I know it's kind of pedantic to care about the folder structure of your repo, and I'm actually known for pushing back on people caring too much about these things. But there is something to be said about opening a repo for the first time and the onboarding experience being scrolling through 40 plus folders and files trying to find the one that's the actual entry point. That's bad. And as an ecosystem, we should decide on a solution that we're down to start supporting in lots of different projects. There's no reason why things like Prettier, Tailwind, and all these other tools shouldn't be able to also check a .config folder to see if there's configurations in there instead. Ideally, we wouldn't need any of this, and we could just use the config file that all these repos already have in JavaScript, the package JSON. There are a handful of projects that are smart enough to read your package JSON for specific configuration values so that they don't need to have their own files and folders, but not all projects are that smart, especially ones outside of the JavaScript ecosystem. Something like Docker will never work that way. And for more complex things like Sentry, they encourage you to make a JavaScript file because that's actually embedded in the app that gets shipped. Because of this, it's a solution that helps in a lot of cases. It's definitely another one of those guard layers to stop us from ending up in config hell. But I do think we need a folder to put these things in in the end. So. Those are my three core points. Better defaults, put things in package JSON while you can. And ideally, we would have a folder to put things in otherwise. It'd be really nice if in the future, we didn't have this huge pile of configuration things in every repo. And I think that we can get there as an ecosystem. We just need to agree it's a problem and work harder on solving it. And yes, Dino has really good defaults too. And shout out to them for writing this article that 100% inspired the video. If you wanna hear more about things I wish JavaScript would change, I'll put a video in the corner here with a proposal that I'm really, really excited about. Thank you guys as always, really appreciate it. Peace nerds.